Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about Riemann sum tables. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, the integral from 0 to 10 of f of x dx, and we want to use the left-hand Riemann sum to approximate this integral based on the values in our table below. The first thing I want to do is see my x values here, and I want to find the difference between each x value there. That's going to, be, going to give me the width of each rectangle. So between 0 and 4, width of 4. Between 4 and 6, difference of 2. 6 and 7, difference of 1. And 7 to 10, difference of 3. So we have our width right here, okay, for each rectangle. Now we want to do a left-hand Riemann sum. And so we need to take the width of each rectangle times the height. And so our width for the first rectangle is a width of 4, but its height, since it's left hand, we use the left value, left y value of that rectangle, and left height is a 5. Same thing next one, we have a width of 2 times its height on the left is a 3. Width of 1 is next, plus width of 1 times its height of 2, the y value, right, f of x. Plus lastly, width of 3 times its height of 3. And now, let's simplify, okay? 4 times 5 is a good old 20. 2 times 3 gives me the 6. 1 times 2 gives me, well, 2. And 3 times 3 is 9. When we add all of them together, 20 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9, we get a 37. And so 37 is the final answer. It's when the left-hand Riemann sum is approximate of our integral based on the tables below. I hope this video is helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.